Good morning guys and girls. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, one of the more interesting little species that we get along the coast. Um, really more predominantly a KZN species. So the guys down south, you might not be familiar with it. Talking about the lemonfish. Now, the lemonfish, interesting little tongue twist here, uh, Plectorhynchus uh, flavomaculatus. Now, the flavor maculatus comes from orange spotted, which kind of alludes to the coloration and things like that. Now, the lemon overall is quite a quite a chunky fish. Um, sort of think bream-like with a little bit more body to it, kind of sort of a fatty kind of bream. Now, they've got very, very pronounced fins. So very, very chunky fins on the side and they've actually got a red base to them. So right, if you can call it their, their armpit, just on the inside of their fins, they've got quite a, um, a red coloration. It's actually quite bright. And you also get it sometimes on the, just on the inside of the lip. On, uh, so where the lip comes out of the mouth, it's the outside of the mouth. Just on the outside, they're almost like a moustache in there. Now, also very chunky lips. Um, but the main thing is the lemon fish is they've got sort of a grey, whitey, sort of faded from the top, grey down to white on the stomach. Um, coloration on the body and then little orange orange to yellow dots on them with uh, lines that go all the way from the face all the way to the back now as a as a fish you're sort of getting them growing to about say 60 centimeters um, your average fish is going to be slightly smaller than that when and okay let's go with the location location for them you're looking cory coral and rocky reefs um, not generally a sand species they if you've got wide open sand flats and things like that you're not really going to find them there if they those flats are adjacent to rocky and coral areas then yes you will get them traversing so going from that area to another spot but if you want to specifically target them you're looking rocky ledges um, coral reefs themselves but more in the shallower water so sort of down to about they say down to 80 meters but you're talking really in shallower water um, so when it comes to targeting them here in KZN, you're looking Mission Rocks, Cape Vidal, Sudwana, that kind of upper north coast area. Um, in terms of food and then, then going into baits, you're looking, they're really more natural food items that they like to feed on. When I say that, of course, all the, natural, all the food items they're coming across are natural, but you're talking worms, prawns, um, any crustaceans they're going to find, they will take small fish, but that's really not in the in their natural diet. So targeting them, um, lemons really do like quite a small bait. So you're not going to go with these big chunky baits like you would for say a speckled snapper or something like that. You're going to go with smaller chocker and prawn combination baits, little bombs. Um, I've got them on sardine heads and all sorts. So they are quite opportunistic, but it's not something that you're going to specifically go and target them with. I'd say your bait similar to those for a pompano are going to work very very well for um, for a lemon fish. Uh, other terms you're looking at they're very they're very inquisitive fish so when you if you dive down into a reef for example as a spiro the one of the first fish that will come and actually look at you is is a lemon fish which does make them quite vulnerable to to spear fishing um, they like to come up and have a have a squiz what's happening on the reef so so yeah they are fairly vulnerable to that but they're not a fish that's endangered as such so it is a fish that you can possibly take but as a reef fish they grow slowly so if you're going to take take one don't don't go and pillage the whole stock so yeah the lemon um, very interesting species quite an enigmatic species down here um, really found only on the KZN coast small baits hard fighter they are quite nice to eat um, very very beautiful fish nice to watch them swim back and uh, yeah, fish for the future. Cheers.